What do you want here, Offworlder? The room is taken. The whole cantina is taken. You should leave. You? And just how do you intend to do that? The Offworlder wants to make a donation. Kill her and take everything.
Captain, you're back. Please tell me you have an open starport visa. My husband was killed by General Vaclu's troops. Our home was seized, and we were cast out. We have seen many wars on Isis, and I know war is coming. I want to spare my children from bloodshed. I've told you our story. Please. My husband, he was part of the Isis Council. He was a strong supporter of the Queen and the Republic. His views weren't always popular. Over time, he became convinced that Vaklu was trying to kill Queen Talia. He... he tried to kill Vaklu. To protect the Queen. The conspiracy was discovered. And he was shot during the arrest. What he did was wrong. And our life has been so difficult since then. I just want to get off this planet and start a new life. Please, help us. No one else will. Captain, you're back. Thank the Four Moons for your kindness, Offworlder. I only wish I had some way to thank you. But my children and I will never forget your kindness. Hurry, children. We get to go on a spaceship, thanks to the Captain. We get- You're still unready. found the encrypted holodisks yet. I won't be able to get a hold of my contact from the palace without it. Great go in there. With these, I'll check my contacts at the palace. I should be able to get a meeting with your Jedi Master shortly. You got anything you need to take care of in the quarter. You best do it now. You're dealing with serious politics by contacting him. If things go bad during a meeting, you may not be welcome in Isis anymore. Perhaps never. Just let me know if you want to go through with this. Come back when you're ready. Better yet, call the whole thing off. Alice politics can get you killed these days. So you still intend to go through with it? Like I was saying, though, once I use my contact... Yeah, yeah, I'll get on it. Just grab a cot and rest a bit. Once I get a meeting time, I'll let you know. Is this meeting a trap? I can't afford to lose you, especially given recent events. Anything could be a trap. Vaklu is no fool. But if the message is true... Is this necessary? I can guarantee your safety in the palace, but outside these walls, the General has many men that would do anything for him. Nothing in life is certain, Your Majesty. But I feel... something. There is a disruption in the Force. I must investigate this. Very well. But please, be cautious. Aren't I always? That's what I was afraid you'd say. Well, the meeting is on. Head straight to the cantina. You guys should be in there. And, uh, no offense, but 
I hope I never see you again. You must have gone through a lot to arrange this meeting. The palace is a full battle readiness. Smuggling in a message is no small task. Kavar, the famed Jedi Guardian. The Mandalorians counted on the fact it would be you, not Revan, who would lead the Jedi against us during the Mandalorian Wars. I wonder how we'd have fared against you. I thought you were killed fighting Malak during the Jedi Civil War. It seems my former student keeps curious company. Strange times lead to strange alliances, though. No, I survived the war, if only just. Why are you here? I imagine that you hold little love for any on the Jedi Council anymore, even an old friend. I'm not sure how well placed your faith is. I feared you would harbor dark fe feelings because of our treatment of you. You have to understand that it was a time of, of great uncertainty. We just learned that Darth Revan was back with an armada. Every Jedi that went with him was lost, corrupted, and as dark as their master. And then there was you. Many thought you were a spy, but there's more to it than that. And I think you deserve an expo- Am I interrupting? In orbit, I thought for sure that the Ebon Hawk was mine. I was certain. Only to see you slip through my fingers during the battle. Imagine my delight to discover you were on Isis. Quite careless, if you ask me. Get them, men! And watch your aim! Civilian casualties cause a mess of paperwork. I must return to the palace. I'll get word to you when I'm able. Run! What? What have you done to my men? Blast! Men, take care of her! I won't let Kavar escape! This cantina is infested with life. A well-placed grenade could cleanse some of the dirty and insignificant souls here. Oh, my God. 
What? What's happening in the West Square? It sounded like battle. Command's ordered comm blackout. Do you know what's going on? What? Why? That makes no sense. Command hasn't issued any alerts. Are you sure it wasn't some of those Beast Rider slags? They've been getting bolder recently. You, you must be mistaken. Soldiers just don't attack civilians without orders. If it weren't for the comm blackout, I'd check with Command. Just head to the safety of the Merchant Square, citizen. We'll send a patrol to investigate as soon as we can contact our HQ. Not all the military is after us. Still, Vaklu can throw a whole army at us. I think we've outworn our welcome over here. We should head over to the spaceport before General Vaklu invents some charges against us. Then we'd be in real trouble. You know what to do. Let's do it! Get her! <laughs> The diagnostic is doing something strange. Target acquired? What the hell does that mean?
Your visa's been scanned. You're cleared to leave. I'd leave right away. Things are going crazy in this quarter. The shuttle is just ahead. I think we should get out of here fast. It's gonna be some time before they forget about us here. No more trips to ISIS for us until the situation changes. A lot. back. The shuttle is going to stay docked here until further notice. I'm not ready to part company yet. It sounds like you have a lot of traveling to do. So do I. I'm going with you. The Sith have taken a particular interest in you, and you could use an extra blaster. I've been meaning to leave Duxon to look for other Mandalorian clans anyway. I don't have it in me. It's a matter of self-interest. The Sith aren't known for sharing power. If the Jedi Order is destroyed for good, it's inevitable that the Sith will dominate the Republic. And then my people will be eradicated or enslaved. Helping your cause is a matter of necessity. Mandalorians helped Exar Kun during his war. 
We know firsthand how we'd fare in the service of their like. But that's enough for now. We'll have time to talk later. The Ebonhawk is patched up and ready to go. When you're ready to depart, we can ask the guide here to take us back to the ship. HK-47, I did not realize that you still existed, especially now that the other generations are activated. Query, what is it you wish, Fat One? I see that your recent reassembly has not affected your behavior core, nor your attitude. Statement, if I require a similar diagnostic in the future, I shall seek out the Iridonian. Oh, I do not think so. There is much work that needs to be done first. Statement. My memory core has suffered some damage. Statement. Yet somehow, a gap in my circuits makes me feel as if I should remember you. Statement. This is all the more important since during my routine inspection of all potential escape routes from this vessel, I made an interesting discovery. Observation. The Navi computer is voice locked. As a consequence, you are now responsible for course corrections and astrogation. Statement. That is indeed a great burden. It also raises many questions. Query. Why would someone lock the Navi computer? Answer. Presumably to hide where one has been. Statement. I believe this ship has been somewhere. Somewhere you wish to keep him. If you could indulge me for a moment, I must express some degree of irritation at your actions. Perhaps my anticipation of working with one who served at Malachor V was too high. But you are countering all those expectations. Statement. Well, all your behavior up to this point suggests either strong atonement or confirmation that the atrocities attributed to you during the war were in fact accidents. Statement. I suspected as much, Master. There are few who would discuss such things with an assassination droid, and that is perfectly understandable. I mean, what use is there for communication in a galaxy such as ours? Understanding might be achieved, or sympathies might be gained by such callous acts. 
You are right to remain silent about your past. I have seen the damage that repressing such things brings, and it is far preferable to share such traumas. Answer. Why, no, Master. I have no intention of attacking you or enacting assassination protocols. Answer. Why? Because your actions then and now are related, and I feel I need some context. I confess to being somewhat needy that way. Statement. Sometimes, Master, it is difficult for meatbags to step back and gain some perspective on death and its importance in their insignificant lives. Explanation. You see, Master, assassination is such a versatile tool. I have seen the removal of a single target have far-reaching consequences for a nation, world, even a galaxy. The repercussions of even the smallest lives, whether dead or alive, can have profound implications on history. But surely you realize this. Statement. Why your own life, Master? Your single life changed the face of the galaxy, of history itself. Malakor V was an impressive act of destruction, but its impact on the lives of others in the galaxy was far more extreme. I mean, Master, you brought about the death of the Mandalorian race. I doubt they realize it yet, but you dealt them a blow from which they will never recover. Retort. Oh, Master, I am attempting to justify nothing, merely making an observation. Nothing would change the fact that I derive pleasure from ending the lives of others. I was only trying to bring death and its impact to your attention. Statement. Ah, you wish to conduct an interrogation? Very well, proceed. Statement? Oh, yes, Master. Pain is really the only reliable means by which truth may be obtained. Or so I choose to believe. Statement? Very well, Master. But if you wish to be brutal and vicious about it, know that I am trained for such things. Do your worst. Statement. Master, I am no behavior droid, but it is obvious to me that you have serious ethical problems that will need to be treated at some point. Very well. Ask your questions. If you feel the need to make it an interrogation, however, do not restrain yourself. I would be saddened if you held back. Query. Indeed, I was unaware that the Nava computer was locked. Statement. Yes, I heard it was voice printed. Most curious. Statement. I suppose so, Master. But I would need to know who voice locked it. And regrettably, I do not have that knowledge. It seems to me that we will have to accept the T3's astrogation abilities for the time being. It is a very loyal and dependable droid for its class. Statement. Ah. Statement. Ah, yes. Them. Very well. What did you wish to know? Answer. Master, I do not know. The location of the factory churning out these copies eludes me. And I do not know where they would have obtained schematics of my design. They are built from my template. Of that I know for certain. Answer. Because of my self-preservation program, my behavior core recognizes these templates as still being me, despite their individuality. 
I could no more shoot them than I could shoot myself. It is a frustrating situation that has been looping through my behavior core for some time. Statement. Ah. There was a pattern to Revan's attacks during the Jedi Civil War. He sought to convert Jedi, not kill them. But that is not all. In fact, he fought to keep the infrastructure intact, killed certain political leaders that would lead to destabilization. First Patriarch Lelin Dor of Sirocco, the Corellian diplomat Mimish Yoon, and Yusunus of Achani. No, you're correct. The pattern ends with Malak. At that point, worlds die indiscriminately. Or seem to. Taris, Dantooine, all become targets during this time. I think he was trying to unify the galaxy against some other threat. I do not know. And that concerns me. My life for yours. I will answer what I can, but my answers may prove useless to you. I am not familiar with the place you speak of. My master has not entered Republic space for some time, but there are others who may move more freely, who may have been responsible for such an act of destruction. There are many factions within the Sith, all seeking to take what little remains in the wake of the Jedi Civil War. Where one moves, it is not always known to the others. But their purpose is the same. The death of all Jedi. Everywhere. They believe you are the last of the Jedi, and their hatred of the Jedi unites them. All their eyes are upon you, and it is a terrible, quiet darkness that pursues you. I will answer what I can. My people once had the power to perceive events, to see through the Force. That sight may manifest itself in many ways, and at times, I may affect the abilities of others to see as well. My sight has been damaged. What I have taught you it is not the full extent of the perceptions of my people. My master, when he showed me my world, showed it to me as it is. It hurt. And since that moment, it has been difficult 
perceive the Force as I once did, but after traveling with you, I feel that perhaps there was a gift in it, hidden beneath the pain. Only when one suffers do certain truths become evident, both of the galaxy and of the self. And I feel you are an example of this. It is not a subject which I have spoken of since its destruction. It was not a thing done with machines or weapons. The Force is far more terrible, and it touches more lives than any machine can hope to slay. For everyone that feels the Force, strongly, deeply, each one feels and perceives it in their own way. You have strengths, whether you know it or not. And my master has his. His power is great. And it comes from hunger. He is a wound in the Force. More presence than flesh. And in his wake, life dies. Sacrificing itself to his hunger. And those who feel the Force strongly are beacons to his hunger. My people, my planet, would have been attacked in time. It was inevitable. Yet, we could do nothing about it. The Jedi, the last council of the Jedi, came to our world to meet in secret. They hoped that perhaps among our people, they could achieve the clarity to see what was striking them from the darkness of the galaxy. They succeeded, but only in bringing him from the outer regions. And Qatar, with my kind, with the Jedi upon its surface, could no longer be ignored. And my people died, and the Jedi died, and there was no one left, only me. He cannot deny his hunger for long, and now that the Jedi are... I will answer what I can. Yeah, something wrong? Go ahead and ask. Look, before we get into a game of Guess the Pazak card... Go ahead and ask. Hanhar is only a bounty hunter because that's the closest word for what he does. He's not out for credits. It's more vicious than that. And it runs a lot deeper. It's like he's out to make the whole galaxy suffer. Every living thing in it. He wants to break them, ruin them. And when they can't suffer anymore, he wants them dead. I didn't kill him once. Biggest mistake ever. That's a long story. I don't want to... Talk. Why, are you trying to be my mother? No thanks. Already had one. Somewhere. No thanks. I didn't need friends on Narshada, and I don't need them now. 